Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to Earth's Medicine, the channel that introduces you to the healing wonders of Mother Earth with a Jamaican flavor. So today we're going to be introducing you to an exotic fruit that is far superior to guavas nutritionally and otherwise and is underutilized here in Jamaica. We'll also be sharing the nutritional profile and some health benefits of this fruit. Interesting fact, the tree that produces this fruit has been called one of the world's 100 most invasive species. Keep watching to find out more. All right guys, so this is the tree that I was referring to just now. It has several common names depending on the country in which it grows. Here in Jamaica, we call it a purple guava tree, but its preferred common name in English is strawberry guava. Its Latin name is Sidium cattleyanum. It's native to Brazil, but is naturalized here in Jamaica and in other tropical and subtropical parts of the world. It's a small tree that tends to grow to an average height of about 10 to 15 feet, but it can get taller. It can be a slow growing tree, but in an ideal soil and environment, it can also be a fast growing tree that produces small fruits, which start off green and mature into a red color. The skin of these fruits are thin, smooth and shiny, and the pulp is translucent and juicy. These fruits contain several small hard seeds that are edible. They smell aromatic, and if they are allowed to get super mature, they'll have a sweet, tart taste. If you've ever tasted common guava, which are these fruits, and Jamaican cherries, which are these fruits, then I would say that they are a combination of these two fruits. However, many people believe that they taste similar to a sweet and tart strawberry. No wonder it was given the name strawberry guava. They can be eaten fresh in the skin or they can be processed into byproducts such as jams, jellies, syrup, juices, smoothies, pies, ice cream or sherbet. And sometimes people slice them up and toss them into salads. They mix them with yogurt or oatmeal. They use them to make wine or they use them to make fillings for baked products. The leaves can be used to make tea and the seeds can be roasted and used as a coffee substitute. Now, there are three varieties of strawberry guava. Apart from this one, there is one that produces small yellow fruits when matured. That one is scientifically known as Sidium cattleyanum var lucidum. And there's another one that produces yellow pear-shaped fruits. That one is scientifically known as Sidium cattleyanum var pyriformis. Strawberry guava trees are reproduced by seeds, shoots, or cuttings, and they can take between two to four years to bear fruits. It has been said that strawberry guava trees are one of the world's 100 most invasive species in the world. However, they are not invasive here in Jamaica. The ones that we have here on property were planted a few years ago and they have not spread. In Jamaica, strawberry guavas, unlike their close relatives, common guavas, don't grow abundantly and so they're not as well known. But they do have a pretty decent nutritional profile and health benefits. <laughs> so 
So guys, studies show that strawberry guavas are superior to common guavas in antioxidant and antimicrobial activities. Total phenolics and vitamin C content and that they possess a relatively high fiber content. Now, the high fiber content means that they can help with digestion and constipation. It also means that they can help to control sugar consumption and help to cut down on the risk of glucose and insulin spikes in the body and they can help with weight loss. Strawberry guavas also contain five times the amount of vitamin C found in oranges and other citrus fruits and they are a rich source of vitamin A. So this means that they can help to boost collagen production which will promote youthful skin that is healthy and beautiful. It also means that they are great for your eyes. They can help to strengthen your immune system, reduce inflammation, and combat scurvy. Strawberry guavas are also rich in copper, which can help with thyroid health. They are rich in magnesium, which can help to elevate your mood, and they can help with promoting a restful sleep. The magnesium in these fruits is also good for heart health. It's good for maintaining a healthy blood pressure and blood sugar levels. And it's good for energy production and bone development. Strawberry guavas are also rich in potassium. And this helps with preventing irregular heartbeat and muscle cramping and for maintaining normal blood pressure. They contain B3 and B6, which can help to keep your brain healthy. They have anti-carcinogenic properties, which can stifle tumor growth and help the body to get rid of harmful free radicals. And like tomatoes, they have lycopene, which is a powerful antioxidant. And the seeds contain omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. That's it for now guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.